Hello friends, my name is Ben. I ran into Ginger Williams, who is the owner of My Honey's Kitchen, and got to talking to her about what sh new items she's got coming out. And one of the things that she mentioned was that she wanted to put out a 30-day kit of freeze-dried food for anybody who might be wanting to stock up for their food storage, or if they wanted to go on a long adventure, or if they're going out with friends, maybe on an RV trip or something of that sort, so that they could have just kind of a large supply of a wide variety of products. I got to talking to her a little bit. I asked her an interesting question that I didn't think much of at the time, but has now become a lot more interesting. And that question was, has anybody ever lived off of a 30-day supply of freeze-dried food and what was that experience like? And as we talked about it, uh, we realized that we couldn't think of anybody who's ever done it. So a, a short while later, Ginger came to me and she handed over this bag right here of My Honey's Kitchen. This is a, her 30-day supply that she'd come up with. She also gave me a list of all of the meals items that are in this bag. But it's got a fantastic variety of foods, and so I just wanted to read a few of these off to you. So, right here we've got redneck rice and beans. We've got biscuits and gravy. This one's actually one of my favorites. I've tried a lot of, of, of Ginger's freeze-dried meals, but I haven't tried all of them. So, there's going to be a few of them in here that are new to me, but this one right here, biscuits and gravy, should give it a go. Uh, the, the great part about My Honey's Kitchen is, oh, this one's uh, onions, celery, and green bell peppers. The great part, the thing that I love about My Honey's Kitchen more than just about anything else is if you take a look at the back of any of these packages of any of the products that she's got, you can pronounce every single ingredient that's on the list. I mean, for the, for the biscuits and gravy, we're looking at white flour, milk, baking powder, butter, onion, sausage, MHK Texas rub, and you've got salt. So if you look through any of these, you're gonna just see that there's, there's no caking agents, there's no chemicals to try and get them to, to last longer, because that's the great part about freeze drying is that it doesn't, it, it, it's, it's its own preservative. So, I mean, you look here at the corn, peas, and carrots, and you'll never guess what the ingredients are in here. That's right, three ingredients, corn, peas, and carrots. So. Really excited to give these a try. What I'm hoping to do is I intend to uh, live off of a 30-day supply of My Honey's Kitchen, and I'm not going to eat any other foods other than what we've got here, and I'm going to kind of share that adventure with you as I go. And I, I'm kind of curious to find out what that's going to do. Uh, I don't know if that's going to cause me to gain weight or lose weight. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what, how it makes me feel, kind of just the adventure in general of what it looks like you know, going through the process of having 30 days of freeze-dried meals. Um, I've seen a lot of, I, I've seen some YouTube videos where uh, people talk about trying other freeze-dried foods and after about day five or six, they just are tired of it and they can't have any more. So I kind of just want to share that experience with you, find if, if it goes good, if it goes bad. One of the other things that I absolutely love about My Honey's Kitchen is how easy these are to prepare. Um, it's got instructions right here on the back. There's two ways to do it. One is to just open up the bag, take out the air packet, you add boiling water to it, seal it up, shake it up, and you're set to go. Uh, the only thing you need is the bag, boiling water, and a fork or something to get it out with. The other option is to just uh, is to bring a pot of water up to boiling, and then you add uh, you just add the ingredients to that pot of water. That goes through more dishes. I'm kind of a fan of simplicity, so I typically just eat them straight out of the bag. So, if you have any comments or any questions, please, please, please post them as we go through this. I would love to look through those comments and answer them as we go. I will try to check those out every single day, and then you know I can try and answer them in future videos. Basically, tomorrow I'm gonna start day one and move forward from there. So, thank you so much for taking this time to Listen to me ramble. Have a have a great day. Sometimes I mess up, but that's okay. <laughs> All right.